How's it? Today we are taking a look at my swimming pool. I've got some really dirty edges across the mosaic. Um, as you can tell, the pool is looking a little bit worse for wear. We've been doing quite a lot of gardening, so have a look at this. So that's where I've been fixing the damaged pipe. We've pulled out all the vines that used to be here. Doing quite a lot of work there, so there's tons of dirt and other debris that's fall, fallen into the pool. And on that end we did a bit of gardening a week or two back as well but as you can tell it is nice and dirty but it has become that way because I've, I've let it run out of water or run low on water so that I can get to these tiles and as you can tell here I don't know if you can see that properly there's a lot of sort of discoloration on the tiles that's from old gunk and grime and stuff that's just collected there over the years that's Naturally, it's above the average water line. You can tell where the water line usually is, is up to the end of this first tile. And then these ones you can see are quite dirty. So we're going to address that today. So this is the stuff that I'm going to be using today. It is incredibly aggressive. So you must wear gloves and preferably eye protection as well in case some splashes back at you. Um, but yeah, it's very aggressive in a nutshell you paint the stuff on to the affected areas and you leave it three minutes it'll start to foam you then rinse it off with water and let your pool pump run well, I'm gonna let mine run for a couple of days uh, afterwards just to make sure that things are filtered out quite nicely but theoretically it doesn't affect your pool in any way so let's get at it I'm just gonna do a little test area first okay so this stuff is hydrofluoric acid as I said earlier on it's very aggressive so I'm just using kitchen gloves because I don't have other clubs at this point in time but they should do the trick a normal plastic container I'm gonna put a small amount of the stuff in to the plastic container paint it on and just test an area put a bit of baby powder in the gloves that helps section there's the applied section it's not rinsed off yet gotta leave it for a couple of minutes still okay so I've learned if you just brush it in just a bit more it does uh, seem to lather a bit better and clean more of the area more efficiently three minutes I'm just gonna rinse it okay so I am happy to report that that works wonderfully um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this alone for about 10 or 15 minutes and just check if there's any other negative effects. If not, I'm going to go and paint the rest of the pool and I'll show you the, the after effect. But very, very easy to do. Very simple process. There's a little bit of green that's happening in my, in my grout, but I mean, this pool is 20 odd years old and I think the tiles are as old. So for that to have done from 
taking it from that to that you can see the old tile of what it looked like <laughs> I've got no problems with having spent 150 bucks using an old paintbrush and an old ice cream container and some dishwashing gloves <laughs> to get my pool to look pretty much new again cool we'll check in again later so I just want to show you I've done a relatively large section of the pool you can see there is where I got started and this is all the, the new cleaned up section I haven't rinsed anything off there yet that's still foaming and then down here I'm going to try and change the exposure a little bit here you can see where I've gone from the clean effect back into these dirty grimy tiles that's what it looks like and if I just go across the pool to the area where you can see it in a bit of better light I think that's clear enough works wonders hence the name okay so I've done a single layer all around the uh, pool I just want to show you what it looks like now and um, yeah let's have a look at that quick so I've just got the hose running in the pool because it needs to refill uh, there's where I did first and I realize now after having done the entire segment you can see there where some of it's not gone away perfectly it still looks a million times better than what it did you can tell that first area that I did was absolutely spot on and I think that is attributed to the fact that I rinsed it off after almost exactly three minutes the rest of it I thought oh, I'll just go do a bigger area I did the bigger area first and you can tell there's patches that didn't get as clean there's other patches that did get cleaner it's not just the shadow you can actually from my angle you can see it properly and then on this end of the pool here that's where I started to I tried um, aggressively brushing the stuff on now that's a little bit more dangerous because you can naturally splash that back onto you but if you look at the pool that's looking pretty good I'm gonna give this another second coat because uh, this is a 65,000 litre pool and I barely used I would imagine about 100 millilitres out of that bottle so I'm gonna go back a second time on this I've sprayed it off now um, I'm gonna go back at it bit by bit just keep touching it up maybe over the next week or two um, I'll do one now and show you that result but yeah there's there's our first little area right down there so that little patch there that's the first area that we did and then this is just what's been touched up the whole way I did that too quickly and then again here that's where I rinsed it off faster and painted it on more aggressively so it shows you you've got to do it the right way but so far that's a million times better than what it was everywhere okay so you're gonna notice that when you're um, using the brush uh, as you move along it, uh, it gets dirty in here when it's dirty in here it doesn't work as well so you need to keep applying small amounts of that into your container that you are using the paintbrush out of and apply it bit by bit that seems to be what uh, what works best uh, if this is dirty inside here I don't think it's as aggressive when it hits your tiles so keep that in mind as well So the verdict, I uh, am in no way, shape or form sponsored by these guys, but that stuff works. 
uh, I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, I don't know if you, how clearly you can see it, but to me that is very noticeable. Finally, my mosaic is clean. Now I've tried to pull acid directly on that, washed it with a brush, uh, like an actual bristled type brush, and I've never been able to get this stuff clean. I've tried applying chlorine directly to it as well, leaving it on for a while, washing that off, does nothing to it. This stuff, I paint it on with a paintbrush, give it a bit of a rub, and wash it off with a hose pipe uh, in three minutes. If you leave it longer, that doesn't do the trick properly. And I haven't finished. That's a 65,000 litre pool, or 75,000 litre pool, can't remember now. One litre, and I've still got, I would say, about 50 or 60 mils guesstimate still in there. So this stuff works wonders. Yeah, it was an absolute breeze. I think the entire process was maybe 30 minutes start to finish with trying to film things in between, which does slow you down. And uh, I'm very happy with the results. Now, for the rest of the pool, I've got to get my creepy fixed. It's running a bit slow, but uh, this pool hasn't been on in a couple of months, and we've had some winter wind storms. Uh, and I've done, I've dug a whole bunch of crap out of there. This has all been pulled out. The strelitzia is about to get worked on. Palm tree had some work done. That's been worked on. So there was all this crap has just been pumping into my pool for the last week. And uh, generally this pool looks fantastic. It's only those mosaics that have really been worrying me. And soon I'll get to the paving around the pool as well. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch up with you guys again next time. Cheers. So, still trying to get this dirty pool cleaned up. We've just done the mosaic. First things first is clean out your baskets, clean out your filter. This is what I pulled out of the one and then the other. And now we're going to backwash. And the right way to backwash is to see that that water goes completely clean. You can see it's very brown and dirty because it's been sitting for so long. But you don't give it a time, it is like yeah, you, know, you should wait 30 seconds or a minute or whatever. If you let that thing run, at least what you're supposed to do is let it run until that water is clear. You can see it's already clearing up. This has been off for about a month. So you've got to leave it to run clear. Nearly there. Yeah, I would say that's about it for this session. And then, what people forget to do, just switch off that, is every now and then, you need to give it a rinse as well. And you can see it's dirty again. And you again, don't give it a time, you wait for it to run here. This is normally a lot faster. There we go. That's good. Not even that long.